And what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Social Sub for another video, guys. And this has been long, long overdue. It is finally time for another sales video. I have like a thousand sales clips on my phone from the last like two and a half months that I need to dump into one big video. So this is probably gonna be an extra long mega sales video. But uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump into all these accelerators for sales and just uh, for a while there towards, you know, recently, the last couple weeks, I have not been recording a ton of sales clips just because my phone is so backed up with the previous sales clips. And uh, sometimes I just forget when I'm packaging up orders late at night. I'm uh, just in a hurry to get them packaged up and shipped out. And uh, sometimes I forget to record the sales clips. So uh, if you guys don't see your sales in some of these videos, I apologize. I will try to do better about recording all of them. But uh, sometimes I just get really backed up in my phone storage. Just, you know, it's just not what it used to be. But uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump into these sales clips. And then we sold a lot of three loose mint cars, starting to run a little low on loose mint cars here. We sold a CM6 RDO4, a CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech, and a CM6 RDO6. Great looking group of cars here. Drift Tech flanked by some drones. The grand total on this order was $44 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And the last order of the day was a carded RDO5. That was from a factory sealed set. This is one I bought for the ultimate hunt. I want to say I paid... Ooh, I'm not even gonna remember, maybe like 40 or 45 bucks for this one. But uh, the grand total on the order was like $53 even. So this is a car that really did not go up much in value. If anything, it's actually dropped a bit in value over the last year or so, um, just based on what I've seen. Whereas almost every other car has gone up in value. RDO5 has stayed the same and dropped in some cases because uh, it's always been kind of in that 50 to $65 range, at least over the last year and a half or so. But uh, these days, they're still pretty steady there, whereas everything else is climbing. So $53 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then we sold another Gen 2 car. This was the Gen 2 Team Color Series Powerbomb. These sell very quickly, even though they're not all that rare. They, uh, they're just in pretty high demand. I guess that's a pretty popular casting. And I got to say, it does look so much better than the 2005 version of Powerbomb. But the grand total in this order was $75 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And the last purchase from over the weekend was four loose used condition cars. I think two of them were in lightly played condition and two of them were in heavily played condition or some some sort of combination of that. But uh, was a CM6 Spine Buster, CM6 RDO6, CM6 Iridium, and a CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech. The grand total on this order was $37 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold another 3D foil. This was the 3D foil Lightspeed card. Absolutely love the card art on this. Cannot say enough about this. And this was from the uncut sheet of 3D foils. As you can see, it's got the square corners instead of the traditional rounded ones, like the ones that come in the booster packs. But uh, anyways, Lightspeed is gone. I think this was the last 3D foil Excel charger that I have. Well, I may have a fan. Oh yeah, I do have a Phantom Form card left that is from the uh, booster pack. So it's got rounded corners. But this was, I think, probably the third or fourth to last card that I have left from that sheet of cards. We we're almost done selling through those. Total on this order was $220 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then next up, we sold two more carded Highway 35 cars. We sold a carded wild thing. Unfortunately, the little token looks like it's upside down in the packaging or at least slightly to the side. But a carded wild thing and the same buyer also purchased a carded Dune Rats El Camino. So a little bit of Dune Rats love here. The grand total on this order was $180 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, let's jump into some sales from over the weekend. First things first, we had a lot of two loose mint cars, which were a CM6 Rolling Thunder and a CM6 Jackhammer. These were both, or actually I might have more Jackhammers, but that's definitely my last CM6 Rolling Thunder for the moment. The grand total on this order was $28 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then next up, two more loose mint cars, which were two gorgeous, gleaming CM6 Purple Edition Spine Busters. Cannot say enough about those chrome spoilers to absolutely pop in the light. The grand total on this order was $33, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold one of the last couple Highway 35 cars that I have in stock. This was the carded split window vet from the Scorchers team, also known as the 63 Corvette, I believe. Uh, actually, that might not be right. You might have to ignore that, but it's definitely the split window vet. But the grand total on this order was $75, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then we sold an absolutely gorgeous Gen 2 car, one of my favorites, the Stripped Metal Series Riveted. Cannot say enough about the Stripped Metal on this car, guys. The decals, the CM6 wheels, it absolutely gleams in the light. Definitely a top 10 car for me of uh, all the Accelerators lines put together. It's absolutely gorgeous. The grand sold on this order was $115, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then we sold another Accelerator starter set, sort of the makeshift starter set that has the uh, the decks that I put together. I believe once again, these were not identical to the actual two starter decks, but I think they had like 74 out of the 80 cards and then the other six were swapped in. So another makeshift starter deck is what we're gonna call it. The grand total on this order was $195, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully enjoy. 
And next up, we sold a lot of eight Nierman cement cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was some uncommon. So we've got the Canyon Realm, Torqued Rolling Thunder, Sprout Road, Vectra Excellium, Pick a Line, Rocket Socket Hyperpod, Torqued Flathead Fury, and RDO 8 version 2. The grand total on this order was $35 even to a return buyer who's got to be getting pretty close to completing his collection. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, next up, we sold some trading cards going through that 20% off sale. So first things first, we sold a copy of Power Rage and a copy of the Water Realm. The grand total on this order was $12 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then we sold a lot of 14 Nierman Cement cards, including a bunch of rares. It was Magnetic Bounce, Torqued Ratified. That was my last copy of Torqued Ratified. Then we have Behemoth Mosquitoes, Hardened Underbelly, Hyper Drift Tech, Navigator, and then eight foil cards or eight rares, which were a foil home track advantage, a foil strato thruster, a foil bootlegger reverse, a foil vector cub light, foil armored plow, just foils left and right, a foil vector carbide. So we got vector cub light and vector carbide. Then my last copy of the storm realm that I had at the moment and a foil tornado vortex. This was my last tornado vortex as well. The grand total of this order was $186 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And the last purchase of the day was this Gen 2 Droned Series Ratified. Absolutely love the paint scheme on this car. Can't say enough about it. And those clear green wheels. The grand total on this order was $54 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I almost forgot we did have one more trading card order, which was 22 lightly played to heavily played cards with a couple of near mint cards swapped in. And then a lot of 10 more uncommon vehicle cards. These were all Torqued, Vectra, V2, uh, Hyper, so on and so forth. But the grand total on this order was $56 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up guys, we did sell the 3D foil Phantom Form card. This was the last 3D foil Excel Charger card that I had in stock. Absolutely gorgeous. One of the prettiest card arts in the card game. Just unreal. Look at that hollow. Beautiful. Anyways, total on this order was $265 out to a new buyer, I believe. So thanks for that purchase and hopefully you enjoy this gem of a card. All right, guys, next up, we had a pretty big order of accelerators trading cards, including a bunch of rares and uncommon. So let's flip through them real quick. It was a total of 17 cards. So it was the Canyon Realm, two copies of Torqued Flathead Fury, Escher's World, two copies of the Ruins Realm, which I'm now out of stock on, then Behemoth Mosquitoes, Hardened Underbelly, All or Nothing, Guts, which I only have one more copy of. Then it was Hyper Drift Tech, two copies of Carpoon Hyperpod, which I only have one more of those, and my last copy of RDO2 at the moment. The same buyer also purchased a copy of RDO8, definitely one of the rare non-foil drone cards. My last copy of Flathead Fury that I have for the moment, and a foil torqued spine buster, one of my favorite card arts in the card game. Love the hollow on that one. So the grand total in this order was $140, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold three more loose mint cars, which were a CM6 Excellium, a CM6 Nitrium, and a CM6 Anthracite. A nice little pack of silencers cars here. The grand total on this order was $47, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold two more rare vehicle cards, which were a foil Vector Cub Light and an RDO8. I think I have one more copy of RDO8, and I think one more copy of Vector Cub Light. So get them while you can. The grand total on this order was $39, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. All right, next up, we sold a lot of five Near Mint Mint Accelerators cards, which were Technetium 2, two copies of Folding Corners, an RDO8 version 2, and then a foil Tsunami card. I really do love the hollow on Tsunami. It, uh, it doesn't have a ton on it as far as card art goes, but the hollow just looks wicked with the big tsunami wave. But uh, they got two copies of tsunami left, so if you're missing it, don't hesitate to snatch it. Total on this order was $40 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, next up we sold a big lot of Accelerators cards. It was 15 total cards, but there were some pretty rare ones. So let's flip through them real quick. It was Baseline, The Warped Realm, Buckle Up, Toxic Gators, Torqued Flathead Fury, Tweak Box, Draft, Four Wheel Steering, Synchro, Torque Rolling Thunder, and Metaloid. And the same buyer also purchased these four rares, which were RDO9, very nice. A foil Vector Carbide, love that rainbow hollow effect on it. Then a foil Torqued Power Bomb, which I think I have maybe two of these left in stock. So get them while you can if you are still missing them. And then the crown jewel of this order was a 3D foil Sweeper Strike card. Love that glassy gray mirror look on these cards. And then that beautiful Wicked Hollow. Check that out. Absolutely gorgeous. This was, I think, the last or the second to last Sweeper Strike that I had in stock at the moment. So it is now out of stock. Or uh, I might have one more. 
but the grand total on this order for all these cards was $325 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy your foils. All right, guys, next up, we sold the last Hyperpod that I had in stock at the moment that was carded. This was the Dual Driller Hyperpod with the Shredster. Absolutely love that Shredster model. It's one of my favorite cars growing up, honestly. I honestly liked it more than a bunch of my Accelerators cars, which I know is blasphemy, but uh, it's pretty darn cool. And I think this is the one that had the Recruiting the Best DVD. Yep, so this was the prequel to the Hot Wheels Accelerators one. It's pretty cool that they did that too, you know, for people that didn't watch World Race. But uh, anyways, this has gone to a new buyer. Grand total on this order was $87 even, so thanks for that purchase. All right, guys, next up, we sold another one of the Gen 2 big boys. This was the Drone Series Flathead Fury. Really dusty, really need to dust this one off. But uh, one of my favorite cars in the Gen 2 line. I forget where I had it in my rankings video, but it was pretty high up there. It is just, can't go wrong with Flathead Fury and then drone decals, that gloss black paint. Unreal. Anyways, grand total on this order was $140, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then next up, we sold a Loose Mint CM6 RDO9 from the big pack opening that we did a while ago with all the RDO 9s. The grand total on this order was $43, even when you include shipping. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold a Near Mint to Mint copy of Foil Vector Cub Light. This was the last one that I had in stock at the moment. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the hollow effect on that card. The grand total in this order was $29, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then lots of trading card love throughout the rest of the day. Next up, we sold a lot of three Near Mint to Mint cards, which were Endure, All or Nothing, and a Foil Torqued Power Bomb. I've actually sold like three of these Foil Torqued Power Bombs in the last like five days. So it's funny, I had four of them forever and then sold three like lickety split. So the grand total on this order was $36, even to a return buyer. The first comment king himself, Zarabeth. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we had a massive order of cards, including a ton of foils and a 3D foil. Let's jump right into it. It was 22 near to make cards. So it was Hyper Nightlife, Hydro Glide, Sprout Road, the Neon Pipeline Realm. Lots of awesome realm cards in here. The Chrome Realm, Undistort. Shortcut, my last copy of Navigator that I had at the moment. The Blizzard Realm, Acceleron Virus, just tons of awesome card arts. Folding Corners, Impervious Tires, the Cliffside Realm, Solar Realm, Lightning Rod, Hyper Drift Tech, and then the Foil Start. So we had a Foil Tsunami Hazard card. I think I have one more of those. Then we have a Foil Torqued Power Bomb. So I think I have one more after that one. Then a foil RDO2 version two, which I think I still have more of. A foil shell skin card, which I only have a couple of. Then a copy of the micro realm, which I still have a handful of, I believe. And then my 3D foil RDO9 version two card. Absolutely love the hollow on this card, guys. Still wish they would have uh, done a little bit more with the background on it, but uh, and the card kind of looks like, I don't know, it looks like it was made in Minecraft. It doesn't really have a lot of definition to it. But uh, the grand total on this order for everything you see here was $397, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy lots of awesome cards in here. And it's going to be tough saying goodbye to this RDO 9 version 2 out of stock again. All right, guys, we sold a bunch more Celestris trading cards yesterday. They are hot, hot, hot right now. So first up was an order of 12 Nearman Cement cards, which were a ton of Metal Maniacs. It was Hollowback, Spinebuster, Jaw Jammer. Torqued, Riveted, Jackhammer, The Junk Realm, Ratified, Torqued Hollow Back, Rolling Thunder, Power Bomb, Torqued Pile Driver, and Riveted. The grand total on this order was $32, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then we had another pretty big order that was 21 Near Mint's Man cards, including some rares, which were Pulse Emitter, Toxic Gators, RDO 4 Version 2, The Neon Pipeline Realm, Ice Yeti, Buckle Up, Folding Corners, the Blizzard Realm, Vectra Magnesium, the Cosmic Realm, Vectra Excellium, RDO 7, Spike Tires, Electric Fry, the Water Realm, Tweak Box, Hyper Nightlife, the Chrome Realm, and then my last copy of Foil Torqued Power Bomb out of stock. Sad to see it go. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Then my only copy of Cub Light. This was the one from the pack opening, gone within 24 hours of posting it on eBay. And then my last copy of Tsunami Foil. We've sold a bunch of these. I think I had five of these at one point over the last couple of months and we sold like all five within two or three weeks. So they went pretty quick once they started selling. But uh, the grand total on this order was $148 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go through some sales clips from over the weekend. So first thing first was a lot of 10 Near Mint Cement cards, which were Sprout Road, Night Sight, Anti-Gravitation, some of my favorite card arts in the whole card game right there. Then we had Grappler Claw, Racing Slicks, Dual Driller Hyperpod, Rocket Socket Hyperpod, 
Tweakbox and Carpoon Hyperpod. So three out of what? Three out of the four Hyperpod uh, trading cards right there. And then a mint copy of the Cybergrid Realm. Probably the uh, the rarest non-foil Realm card followed by the, uh, the Fog and the Storm Realms. But uh, the grand total on this order was $60 even before you include shipping. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then next up, we sold two more lots of 22 lightly played, heavily played cards. One featured a junk realm, one featured a neon pipeline realm. So uh, these have been sitting for a while, so I took a lower offer on them. I think I took a grand total of $20 each, so $40 total on this order on some trading cards. Not too bad of a deal for 44 cards, honestly. But uh, thanks for that purchase. And then the last purchase from yesterday was a lot of three loose, lightly worn accelerators cards, which were a CM5 Rolling Thunder, a CM6 Drift Tech, and a CM6 RDO6. They all had minor scuffs and scratches here and there around the cars, but uh, the grand total in this order was $25, even to a return buyer, I believe. So thanks for that purchase. All right, guys, next up, we sold a Gen 2 car. This was a Gen 2 re-released RDO6 on an international blister. That is a mouthful, but that was one of the four re-released cars, which along with the uh, Nitrium, Hollowback, and Baseline but uh, is on an international blister. Gosh, I'm starting like crazy today. As you can see here, the back is a little bit different than the other ones, but uh, the grand total on this order was $53, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy it. And then next up, we sold a loose, lightly worn RDO9. This was one of the ones from that big RDO9 fleet pack opening. Unfortunately, I did not notice when I was first doing it, but it does have a small issue with the windshield here where it looks like it's either chipped or just not quite in there it almost just looks like it didn't uh, it was never fully popped into the car like it looks like if i just push down on it, i could pop it in but i tried for a little bit and it was just not going anywhere so unfortunately it is loose lightly worn but that's in great shape other than that pretty much mint but uh, the total on this order was 27 dollars, even to a return buyer so thanks for that purchase and next up guys we sold a whole bunch of accelerators cards including a bunch of pretty rare ones and foils so first up was a copy of dragon torch which i'm pretty sure you can only pull out of a three pack then it was the foil feather frame card that we pulled in the last pack opening. Almost as soon as I got it in stock, it is gone. Same buyer also purchased. I think this was my last RDO8 card for the time being. The battering bubble foil from a couple pack openings ago. So battering bubble and feather frame both gone. And then my last RDO5 card that I had in stock. So all five of these cards are gone and headed out to a long time buyer. Some, uh, some pretty wicked card arts here, I'm not gonna lie. But the grand total on this order was $111 even to that return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold, you guessed it, two more lots of 22 lightly played, heavily played cards. Um, they sold for $27 a piece, so a grand total of $54 on the purchase. It's funny, the second I started complaining about these not really selling that well, immediately we sold like four of these lots within like three or four days. So uh, the total on this order was $54 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold three more Accelerators cards, and these were all pretty rare ones. It was the near mint copy of the Storm Realm that we pulled in the pack opening. And then my last copy of High Voltage that I had at the moment. And then also, of course, the Chicane from the pack opening as well. So three pretty rare cards. They were all in stock briefly. Now they were all out of stock once again. Total on this order was $75, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing all the items moving in and out of my eBay Accelerator store over the last you know, couple months. But uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the Accelerator store for more Accelerator related content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.